Hello, Holy College Math students. We understand gradients now and how to calculate them. Now, if we're given an equation, or sorry, a linear equation in, straight, uh, in standard form, then it's going to look like this thing here, where y is the subject, which means y is on its own in the equation. And then we have some number in front of x plus a number. Now, I know that those aren't, they aren't numbers at the moment, a and b, but for any particular straight line equ equation, they will be numbers. Like if you look down here, okay, in this case, the first one, y equals 3x take 2, a equals 3, and b equals negative 2. But what they actually are, the number in front of x is actually the gradient of a line, and the number at the end on its own is the, the y-intercept of the line. So the gradient is our slope, how steep the line is, and the y-intercept is where the line cuts the y-axis. So if we've got an x-axis and a y-axis and the line does this, our y-intercept will be right here on our, on it for our line where it cuts the y-axis. So let's go on to these examples. Uh, here we're asked to find the gradient and the y-intercept of these lines. Okay, so you might want to pause the video at this stage and, and have a go at all these yourself and then see how I go with them. Okay, so I'll try them now. Okay, so for this one, the first one, gradient equals 5, y-intercept equals negative 2. For this one here, we've got negative 2 for gradient and 8 for y-intercept. And the last one, well the number in front of x is 2.5, so the gradient's 2.5. There's no number there for y-intercept. What does that mean? Well, that means that the y-intercept is 0. You could think of it like this. This is equivalent to 2.5x plus 0. It's just nothing there. So that means the y-intercept is 0. Now, with these examples, we're going to go backwards and go from being given the gradient and the y-intercept uh, and write down the equation in standard form. So I'll show you the first one. We've got a gradient of 3. So we have y equals 3x, and the y-intercept is positive 2, so we say plus 2. So maybe you want to pause the video again and try the next two. Okay, I'll have a go at them now. The second one is y equals negative 2x. And the last one is y equals x plus 3. Now if you wrote y equals 1x plus 3, look, in the test, I'll give you full marks for that. But uh, mathematicians uh, are lazy. So as mathematicians, you should be lazy too. And we don't bother to write that one in front of x in that situation. Okay, so let's try the questions in the description now. 